Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Cousin Ryan. Uncle Joel. And uh, let's just get right to it. Coke has a new flavor, orange vanilla. It's been out for a little while now, but for some reason where we live, it takes forever to get certain things. Certain things. And sometimes these promotional or limited edition things never make it to us. I've seen stuff that has been limited edition that came out on the East Coast and then the limited run ended and only after it ended did we get some. Yeah. We don't live too far from San Francisco, so we're, I mean, we're in a pretty, like, populated area. Yeah. Um, you know, the Northern California Bay Area and, you know, Walmart, for example, I'll complain that, not complain to them, but just in general, like, why don't we get the Halloween Captain Crunch? I mean, what, what's the deal? Christmas. Christmas time, Halloween Captain Crunch shows up on the shelves here. And not just at one store, but at multiple. So I don't know why it takes us so long to get some things. But anyway, enough talking. Joel, how do you really feel about Coca-Cola? So I'm one of the few people who much prefers Pepsi over Coke. Um, I'm not really a fan of regular Coke. I'm also not a fan of orange. Are you a fan of vanilla? Yes, um, not in drinks. <laughs> oh, well. Are you a fan of caffeine? Uh, I haven't had caffeine in a month. I'm trying to cut it out completely. And I'm trying to, like, ruin him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I've always been a Coke fan. But my favorite soda, I think, Crystal Pepsi. I love Crystal Pepsi, and that could just be, like, my nostalgia gene kicking in with that, but... Even when they brought it back and it didn't quite taste like the original Crystal Pepsi, I still really liked it. Um, and I think Pepsi might have better commercials. Like the whole bump up, bump bump bump. I with Britney Spears. Come on, <laughs> come on. Back in the day, yeah. I don't know. I I think I like Pepsi as a uh, as a. Uh, not an icon, but would you call it an icon? Like Pepsi as a uh, image, yeah, maybe better than Coca Cola. I think Coke brought us like what we know as Santa Claus today. We're talking too much. Let's just try this. <laughs> I don't smell any orange or vanilla off the top, but. It's not very strong. Yeah. And I it, feel like I feel like the orange and the vanilla kind of like level each other out. Yeah. Cuz like I've had vanilla coke and vanilla pepsi and uh, vanilla was way too strong. Sorry, I I got to back up. Cherry coke. That's my favorite coke product right there's cherry coke. Yes. Like I love crystal pepsi. I'm still standing by that, but if I cherry coke and actually cherry 7 up. Maybe I like cherry flavored stuff. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so like uh, vanilla Pepsi, the um, vanilla is way too strong. Um, and in general, I'm not a fan of orange products, but I feel like the orange and the vanilla here kind of kind of balance each other out. Um, I got to tell you, I don't taste... I barely taste the orange and the vanilla. Like, I don't know if you handed this to somebody and said, what's in it? If you could identify it. See, I feel like I wouldn't necessarily be able to say orange, but I can I can taste some citrus, and I can definitely taste the vanilla. The vanilla is there, but I almost feel like vanilla, like straight up vanilla Coke, tastes more vanilla than this. Oh yeah, yeah. But then that's what I'm saying but, that the orange kind of balances it out. But I don't. But I'm just not tasting the orange in it. Hmm. But maybe that's a good thing. It does have like a creamsicle kind of aftertaste, but it's still not. I don't even know that when I eat a creamsicle on the rare occasion that I taste like orange. You know what I mean? Like even orange flavor, not necessarily orange fruit, but you know how Yeah. Excuse me, artificial flavors taste different. <clears throat> I don't know. I'd say hmm. try it. If you have a chance to try this, give it a shot. You might really like it. I mean it's not bad at all. It's just not what I was expecting, I guess. It's uh, pretty mellow. It's definitely Coke, 
with yeah. a hint of something else. And th- that might be the th- the th- problem is that it's a hint of orange and a hint of vanilla, and the vanilla kind of is stronger than the orange. Yeah. Hmm. So you can taste something, but you're not sure what. Yeah. You know, this is the first soda I've had in well over two months, probably. Wow. Yeah. I didn't even think about breaking my streak when we did this. <laughs> oh, well. I'm in a challenge at work with some friends. We all put in some money to see who could lose the most weight, and one of the things I did was cut out soda. So, anyway. I don't think this has ruined me. <laughs> I like it. I mean, I definitely want to finish this, but I'm not going to just because I got to win. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I would I would really recommend trying it. I mean, if you're a fan of like creamsicles and Coca-Cola or whatever, I mean, give it a shot. It's not bad at all. Um, I think there's a lot of good sodas out there that just aren't my thing that I don't like crave, but yeah. I'd say give it a shot. Um, I don't know if Coke has been very like it doesn't say limited on here, but I would imagine this isn't going to be around forever, is it? Yeah, sometimes they'll do like, new products that don't last very long. Yeah, or it'll be um, seasonal. Yeah. I don't see anything on here that says limited, but uh, give it a try while you can anyway. And then get hooked on it, and then they'll yank it from the shelves, and then you can't have it anymore. Yeah. Just like that. That's the plan. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, well, cool. Thanks for hanging out with us and trying a uh, new Coke. No, hold on. That totally, there was a new Coke that was horrible <laughs> in the 80s. What I wanted to say is the new Coke flavor, vanilla orange, <laughs> or orange vanilla, sorry. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, take it easy.